Darren Biedman has ridden his last race. The nation's top jockey today retired and will now spend his days preaching as a Christian minister. And it was a fitting end for the champion hoop. Darren Biedman made a fairy tale farewell by riding the first winner at Randwick today. Biedman's home on his farewell day in the opening race. Go, Darren. I go win, bolted in. Huge relief. Um, you know, it's nice to uh, you know go out with, with the win on your on your final day. A pretty good feeling getting all this attention with Darren on your horse. Yeah, it is. It's certainly, uh, we we'll have to make the most of it because it won't happen anymore. The birth of the Beadman legend started at just 18 when he became the youngest rider to win Australia's greatest two-year-old race, the 1984 Golden Slipper Stakes on Inspired. His impact has been enormous. Many feel Beadman is leaving at the peak of his career, especially his mentor, Theo Green. Yes, it is uh, very sad, Rebecca, but he's a very wise young man and I think whatever decision he made, I'd have to support. We need as many good riders in Australia as we can get, so no, I'm disappointed he's leaving. The 1990 Melbourne Cup win aboard Kingston Rule was probably the defining moment of Beadman's career as a Group 1 racer. Trainer Bart Cummings needed no convincing. The rest, they say, is history. Bart Cummings has got his 10th Melbourne Cup. Saintly's going to win the Melbourne Cup for Darren Beadman and Bart Cummings. The pair did it again in 1996 with the horse from heaven, Saintly. The same combination that saw Beadman win his first Cox Plate the same year. I know there's going to be a big hole to fill in racing, but there's plenty of young up-and-coming uh, up jockeys. Rebecca Joyce, 10 News. And while Darren Beedman was farewelled at Randwick, it's full steam ahead for Victorian racing. Today's Boxing Day meeting at Caulfield marked the start of a hectic period. Punters now face 30 straight days of racing. While the limelight shone on Darren Beedman today, there was also a keen interest in racing at Caulfield.